Oh, let's see. My tip for people I want to submit for the future. Um, well, there's a lot. I think you should just, I mean, the creative process is a very individual one, I guess. It's, it's you know, you have your own, you have your own picture of what, what, what you're going to do. Um, I think you just should continue to have that strong opinion of where you're going, but still look at what's going on in the world. Um, if, if you're very niched, if you do something which is very odd musically, um, continue that path. But sometimes I think people seem to they seem to think they're doing something which is more commercial than it actually is. So maybe take a little trip around Spotify and the charts and look at what's going on in the world and, and, and that's the level of production and hooks and lyrics that you gotta compete with. And maybe just, you know, choose lesser songs to submit. Uh, try to go for one or two songs that are really, really strong and just submit that, um, yeah. I think uh, one thing to think about is to keep it simple. A lot of music that goes, um, goes, that goes big in the industry is rather simple. We've had a lot of good contributions today, but people tend to um, almost show off. Look how good I am at guitar, I'm such a good drum producer. And uh, yes, there's, there's been a lot of quality, but um, yeah, keeping it simple, I would say. I think nowadays, with the whole streaming world, it's, it's really easy to get your music out there, to get people to, to hear it. At the same time, it's a lot of music coming out every day, so it's hard to kind of get through the noise. But I think it's just be really persistent and really work yourself. Like you can find emails to blogs if you just really want to. Um, you can find emails to different labels. You can like just, just really work hard to get people to listen to your music if you believe in it yourself. Um, because it's a lot of great things that can happen if you just work hard for it. Uh, feedback sessions are great. I mean, feedback in general in the music business is important. It's, it's really difficult for artists for creative people, writers and producers to, um, to develop and become better if no one is telling them what they think. So it's, it's important for us in the music business with some kind of a know-how and experience and opinions to level, to say what we think about stuff. Uh, and uh, positive and, cr and criticism is always good, uh, you know, uh, say something bad, but also say something good. Um, that way it's easier to uh, progress and become better, I guess. I think it's been great. Um, it's been good because they and our team has been sitting together and, and, um, and shared opinions. And uh, I think it's so nice that so many people send in their music here. It's a good vibe in the, in the whole session. Yeah. I think the feedback sessions are an amazing opportunity for new songwriters and producers to to actually get the song to an A&R and to actually know that they will listen um, and also to get the the feedback from them because it's it is a busy job to be an A&R and you get a lot of songs in your inbox so it's not like they, they can't really or we can't really answer every every email all the time but here you can really know that you will get an answer and people actually listen to songs and, and ask them to, to send more songs like you can get opportunities to to actually work with a professional a and r in the future as well i think if you're a writer write a lot uh, just keep writing keep writing and, and don't focus on production too much in an early stage. Just write a lot of simple, write a lot of songs that you record in a simple way to begin with. Just keep songs on, on pile and go back to the songs and say, okay, 
this is a really good song. I keep listening to this. I keep going back to a song. There's something about that song. And then maybe you take lesser songs and go into production. I think there's, there's a danger in music today that everyone thinks they're good at everything. It's really hard to be good at writing, playing, singing and production. It's really difficult today. So maybe you should just maybe focus on lesser things that you become really good at and then teaming up with other people that are better at the other things. Um, I think we've seen good examples uh, during the panel discussions as well that it's very easy today to just reach out. If ever, just write, tell someone you want to work with them or hi, should we do a session? How about a sit down? The networking in the music industry nowadays is really important and it's a lot of collaborations going on, uh, like co-writes um, and just people getting to know each other, presenting you to other writers or other artists. So I think as an up-and-coming songwriter or artist or producer, it's, it's really, really important to kind of get out there, see what's, what's going on. If there is like a talk, like the Stockholm Songwriting Camp talk, where you can find other people who want to do the same thing as you do, or just, yeah, kind of keep track of, of the, the things that can, can really connect you with, the, with other mu musicians as well.